Okay, guys, we're back now. So, now I have to remember how to get to that one room. Well, it was, pa it was right after the Garo Master. So, I have to... Oh, it was before the Garo Master. It was a, what, that one room with the Goron switch and, like, it uncovered the fire and whatnot. And I think that was this way, which is why I'm heading here. Um, oh, crap. Don't... Do I have to do this puzzle again? Please. Please don't. Okay, thank you. I was so afraid that the block was going to respawn there, but I don't know, I don't know why I thought that none of the other blocks were going to respawn. Alright, yeah, so we're here. Alright, so that room, I guess, wasn't too far out of the way, but still it was a pain in the ass having to go back and flip the temple. Because when you flip it back to right side up, you have to actually, like, press the switches and do the elegy songs again. Because that's, that's the only way to get back across to the entrance of the temple. So, yeah, that's really annoying. Oh, I'm going to have troubles with this room now, aren't I? Wait, maybe there's like a ladder or something that I could reach. Because, I don't know, some, for some reason I just have a feeling... Oh, get the Goron mask. I just have this feeling that on the other side there's going to be a ladder that I can actually climb to get up to the door. And I hope that's the case. I really, really do. Is there a ladder here? Please? Please? No, of course not. Oh, damn. It looks like there's ladders on the sides of these things, though. So much deceptive decor in this place. I'm gonna punch it. Meh, I'm angry. Alright, climb back up. Uh, ooh, 12 o'clock on the final day. Yeah, I think I can make it. I have a good what? How long is that? That's like 18 hours to finish the temple. 18 in-game hours. I think that's actually less than an hour in real life, but that should still be enough. Plenty more than enough. Hopefully I'll have enough time to, like, give the great to the, to the, to give the stray fairies to the great fairies anyways. Oh wait, let's head back. I need to, like, realign myself here. Let's try this. And go! Alright, that should work. I think that's what I did what I had to do last time too to make this. And yes, awesome. Uh, oh, we'll have to fight the Garo Master again. That'd be weird. All right. And it seems like this room, this one should be like just beyond the um, just beyond the room that led to the boss. So this seems like it should be the boss room. Is, is that what the map says? No, but. Okay, whatever. Alright, so we're in here now. And we have to get to that chest. Where is that chest exactly? I'm not sure. Um. Is it up here? No, actually, I think it's down some more. Okay, let's get. Let's get. Uh, let's actually fall down. Look, look, Link, get down. Seriously? Hop down. Okay. Perfect. And, yep, there's the chest, for sure. But hold on, I want to see if I could actually have hit that switch from the other place. And that's the last tree fairy! Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, I could have maybe hit that switch. I don't know, I might have had to been upside down to hit that, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's the final stray fairy. That Those stray fairies actually weren't as hard as I thought they'd be. I remember them being a lot harder. But I guess as long as you have the compass and stuff, it's pretty easy to figure out where they are. Hmm. Okay. Get back up there. And you know what? I could probably just... I could just warp out. Yeah, I can just warp to the entrance, because... All that's left now is pretty much the boss. And then... I have to give the stray fairies back to the great fairy. In Icona. And then I think I'm done. Done with this freaking long-ass temple. Alright, I'm going to look at the timer for the first time since I began this temple. One hour, 45 minutes. And I might have cut some of that out. So all in all, that should be like seven freaking videos. Six or seven. That is insane. And these are like 15 minute videos too, or like, like 12 to 15 minute videos. So like... I don't know, I think I think I actually took more time than NCS did to do this temple, and that was like 9 or 10 videos that he had. 
That's amazing. I'm worse at this game than him. That's... Wow. Oh, man. Whatever. Oh, I had some... I had fun doing it, so... Yeah, I had fun and fail. There wasn't actually a hell of a lot of fail, but... There was some. Most of it was just me being stupid and getting confused. Okay, oh no! Uh, especially in that one room with the black bows. Oh my god. That was just so sad. Okay. And heading to the big brain of the temple now, is what I guess it is, since it's upside down. Let's head back. I got my hook shot. Why can't I just, like, warp to back to where I was? That would be so, so much better. Alright, let's go up. Up, up, and away! Man. I've heard you can do this temple before you've got, before you've done Great Bay. But I don't know how that would work, because, um, like, don't you have to get the hook shot from Great, Great Bay and you need that in this place? Like, maybe before the Great Bay temple, because you don't need the ice arrows at all in this temple, as far as I remember. But, um, like, without going to Great Bay at all, that just seems kind of stupid to me. But I don't know, maybe it's possible with some weird sequence break things. Regardless, let's get in with 149 rupees. What is that? That's like, that's like 12 squared plus 4. Wow. Alright, and sure enough, this is the room that we fought the Garrow Master in. And it looks like this heads down to the boss. Is that the sky? That's a scary looking sky, man. Okay, let's go down in there. Epically. Whoa! And oh my goodness, it's the Gerudo Desert? <gasps> oh snap. Whoa! That's a giant worm. It's... Giant mass insect twin wool. Okay. So, how are we going to deal with this thing? Well, you want the giant's mask, which... I don't remember getting the giant's mask. Holy shit, I didn't pick up the giant's mask. How did I... Where did I miss it? I don't know if you can beat this guy without the giant's mask, or it's really hard to if, it, if you can. I think you need light arrows to do it. Where did I miss? Oh crap. Ow. Ow. That's painful. Jeez, these guys are ginormous. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're fighting Twin Mold without the Giant's Mask, I guess. This is gonna be hell. I'll tell you right now. Alright, can't hit his face. I think you have to hit the tails with light arrows. Oh, hit it. God! Look at how big this thing is, too. Like, when, when you have the Giant's Mask, which... I guess it's no big secret what it does. It turns you giant to make this a fair fight. But whoa. Like I just I feel like literally like an ant. Just just like up against these guys. I feel like an ant. And how am I gonna restock my arrows if I run out? This is not good at all. Maybe it'll be like uh Godon in Wind Waker and he'll just give you arrows out of his nose. Oh I hit him. Yes. Okay, that's one hit. On one of them. I think you have to get like five or six hits on both of them to kill this boss, which is crazy. Oh no. And I'm actually scared to move off the center platform because I don't know, I might sink if I do. What's he doing way out there? Get back over here. Oh, hit him. Yes! Sweet. I don't care that you hit me, I got him. Okay, so you walk slow when that happens. Ow. Alright. Hit it! Ah, oh, crap. Just missed it. Man, I can't believe that I missed the giant's mask. Well, I guess this is a neat little way. I haven't actually seen anyone fight this guy this way in my LP, in any LPs. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not the first to do it, but I may be. This might, this is just like a weird sight. Oh, I, I could have hit him three times there. That would have been so cool. Oh, man. Down to 23 arrows. I think that should be enough. Holy crap. Here's, he's coming. Oh, I shot too early. Damn it, I got too eager. Go! Aw, oh, snap. Man. Yeah, like, I didn't realize how insignificant you feel fighting these guys without the giant's mask. Because I'm literally kind of scared of them right now. Like, 
with with the giant's mask, they're just like so tiny and really kind of stupid looking. But when you don't, this is just an intensely epic battle. Look at this. This is more David versus Goliathy than anything else I remember in any Zelda game. Whoa! This might in fact be the biggest boss in Zelda history, and that's why they give you the giant's mask for it. Or they're supposed to. I guess I passed it up, though, somehow. You've got to be the most idiotic person in the world to pass up the giant mask. Alright, dude. You got such bad aim. Lord! Get it! Ah, oh, no, hit it! Yes, I got him. <gasps> Did I kill him? Holy crap, I killed one of them. I killed the blue guy. Yeah. Oh, is he gonna die? Like, yep. That's how they always die, those worms. Stupid worm. So that's one down. Now we just have the big red guy to go. The boss of them. It's like the red and blue Goombas in Paper Mario. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> I lost something that ginormous. Alright. Uh, I need to lead this thing a bit. There we go. Or just get lucky like I just did right there. I actually didn't even mean to let go of the button. My finger just slipped and I happened to hit him. Alright, ooh. Yes! Sweet. Okay, lead him and go! No. And go! Crap. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I should have had that too. Uh, four arrows left. Oh my goodness. What happens if I run out of arrows? I don't know. We might find out. Go! Ah, shit. Oh, he's getting in the way. He's getting in the way of his own freaking tail. Damn it. Yeah, I knew I wasn't going to be able to hit that because my reflexes aren't fast enough to hit that thing. I'm actually like, just coming out of the sand. And go! Oh, man. Two arrows. I don't even know if that's enough to kill him if I hit him with both of them. Let alone if I hit him with, like, just one. Man, there's the dead head of the other guy. Why is he so far out there? He's coming in! <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, and... Hit him! Yes! Sweet. Okay, one arrow left. This is gonna have to be able to shot her around the world. Wait, that might be a bad thing. I'm not sure. Oh, he's in the way. He's in the way! Dude. Hit him! Yes! I killed him with my last freaking light arrow. And I don't even think that should have counted. I, I think I totally missed him. But there you go. That's the epic battle against Twin Mold, which is only really epic if you don't have the Giant's Mask. Boom! Into the sand with you. And pick up our heart container. You got a heart container! Up to 18 hearts now. Look at that bad boy. And that, my friends, Stone Tower Temple. And let's pick up the last of the four giants' remains, or the four bosses' remains. You seize Twin, Mo Twin Mold's remains. You just freed the innocent spirit that his dark mask had kept inside the body, that had kept imprisoned within the body of the evil Twin Mold. And that's the last boss, thereby, the last giant's spirit has been freed. So, what now? Whoa. This looks awesome. It's like blue and yellow. Those are two colors that go really well together. Man. So this is the last scene that we're going to see in this, like, waterfall area. Well, we've helped all of the... That's all we can do. <laughs> Call us. That's what they're saying. No, they're saying... <laughs> Whoa. Tarping told we understand, so now you'll help us out in exchange. We'll call you from atop the clock tower, so do something about him, alright? Hmm. What? Their voices sound sad. You don't want to? Why would they- Oh, well, I guess- Whoa! That's like the first time we saw his face. Man. Uh, yeah, I guess they don't want to, because from that- story the four giants that Angie's grandmother told us they that he was their friend at one point. Forgive your fr fries. Forgive your friend. <laughs> I already made that fries joke in the last scene like this. What does it mean by forgive, huh? What friend? I don't know. Ooh. We get teleported right all the way out of even the stone tower itself. 
Run, Link! What the? Oh my goodness, it's like an interdimensional portal. What's going on? That's crazy. Holy crap. <gasps> oh no, we brought the end of the world. Oh no, we didn't. We let the sun shine. The sun is now shining in Iconic Canyon. I love that song so much. The extended version of like the victory song, that's so awesome. And that's Stone Tower and Twin Mold. That went a lot smoother than I actually thought it would, so just imagine how I thought it was going to go. Jeez. But one thing, one last thing that we gotta do, we can't forget this now. Go hand in those damn stray fairies, because you do not want to reset time by accident and have all the reset, re all the stray fairies reset on you. That would be the worst thing ever. So, what's our final reward from this, I guess, yellow-haired stray ha fairy gonna be? This blonde fairy. Yep, she's blonde. Oh, man. That's ridiculous. It's scary looking. Oh, compassionate young one, I am the great fairy of kindness. <laughs> the great fairy of kindness from the Stone Tower Temple? That's kind of ironic. Ooh, the fairy- holy crap, that's awesome. You got the great fairy sword, set it to sea to use it. With black roses etched into it, the great, the great fairy sword is the most powerful of all blades. So this is like essentially the big Oron sword of this game. Except for the fact that you can't equip it to your sword button, it actually has to be an item. So I guess I guess I can show that off really quick. Yeah, see, it's right here. Oh, the great fairy sword. Whoa! Can I do a spin attack with it? Yeah, you can. Sweet. That's a big spin attack. So there you go, that's the great fairy sword. That's what it looks like. Uh, you can't use your shield, just kind of like with the big Oron sword. And to put it away, you can either swing your sword or just press the A button, whatever. Alright, so, next time, we're going to take on a few more side quests, and then, after that, essentially we have the end of the game coming up. We're going to stop the moon. We most definitely are. So until then, thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.